Welcome back everybody to another episode, another video for you guys today. If you haven't already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and do all of that. So today we've got a couple things to go over. We got an order from LRB Aquatics. Uh, that came in today so we're going to go over what i got and show you that um, we also want to move the lilies red tiger lily i think that's in the nomo tank and i've been wanting to put it out into the pond and start getting some live plants in the pond and see how that goes but there's a couple big fish in there there's the turtle in there so i've been worried about if i throw any plants in there they're just going to get destroyed so I've been thinking and I came across something kind of cool. It's kind of a, a floating planter basket thing. So we're going to go ahead and make one today. Real simple. It's not going to be that big, not that complex. There's only three things to make it work and really cheap. Thinking total, it cost me maybe five bucks, if that. Um, so let's go ahead and get into that. I'll show you how we made it. This is it. This is all you're going to need to be able to make this floating basket. Real simple, real easy. Anybody can do it. We've got pool noodle. I cut up into a couple sections. You can see I already had it tied. Um, already tested this out and had it floating just to make sure it works. So then we also got, um, you can use really anything that's not going to rot away in the water. Also, this little basket um, got from Home Depot, I believe, for a couple bucks. And gravel, also from Home Depot. I got a bunch of this, I believe five big old bags. I bet you can guess what that's for. Later video. Okay, so all you really do is we're gonna be putting all four around and just tie them on. And voila. We have it done, that simple. I'll probably go ahead and trim these down just so they're not all dangling around. Not too short so they won't come undone. Um, the only actual tricky thing, not really tricky, but you'll have to mess with it and tweak it is how much gravel you actually put inside it because if you do put too much, the pool noodles can't hold it and it won't float. So you do have to mess around with that, put the basket in the water, let it float, and just slowly add gravel. Um, and then if it starts sinking, obviously just take some gravel out. So let's go see it inside the pond and see how this beauty looks. And there you go, guys. Let's go get the lily and we will put it in here. Okay, so here it is. Look at that thing. Hopefully it's not too dug into the gravel. Get out of the way, sir, ma'am, whatever you are. Jellies camera hog so I want to move that lily because look at that thing I didn't trim it at all so it just started growing big old pads which are starting to block the light from going down to the bottom and I want to see I'm curious as to see what its potential is so if we put it out in the pond where it gets actual sunlight I am hoping this thing will just explode so let's try and get it out of there and hopefully we don't tear it up too bad. All right, so here we go. We got it in and already the little booger. Sophia is trimming my lilies for me. She, look, see, she just bites it and then swims off like, oh, da, 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 da. well, I think it's okay. Um, yeah, Sophia's probably going to eat all of these pads, but I'm hoping that since the roots and everything are going to be protected and down in that cage, maybe it'll just start growing thicker. Also, I threw in some root tabs that are actually from Aquarium Co-op. We got these. Easy root tabs, root zone fertilizer. So today I got in a box, uh, an order that I made, first time ordering any live creatures actually online. 
Uh, it's not fish, although uh, maybe that'll be the next step. So I actually heard about this uh, this company. Uh, they've got a channel. It's L R Brett's Aquatics. You should check him out. Cool YouTube channel. Guy knows a lot of what he's doing. Um, he also has his website where he sells a lot of his fish and plants and everything you need. Uh, check that out. It's L R B Aquatics.com. Uh, I'll put a link to his website and to his channel in the description down below. So go ahead and check that out. Let's get it open and see what I got. So, here we go. This is what we got. Nice little baggie here. So I got two things. I got a plant that I've been wanting to try and keep. Um, I've heard it's one of the easiest ones to keep and fastest growing. So that will be awesome if that's true and we don't kill it. So what we got in here first, we'll start off with the plant, is guppy grass. Uh, scientific name, it's Naja something. I have two tanks that I might want to put this in. Not entirely sure yet. Either the Nomo tank behind us or the 30 gallon that we set up for the possible pea puffers. And the other thing we got are ram's horn snails. And looks like they're all still alive. So these are going to be going in the 30 gallon uh, for the possible pea puffer tank. I keep saying possible pea puffer tank because still not entirely sure if that's what we want to do. I've always wanted to be keeping those. Um, and then we also got a sticker, LRB Aquatics. It is a little wet, so hopefully it still works. I'll have to find somewhere to put this on. So, that is what we got. A small little order, and let's go put them in the tanks. So since this is an empty tank right now, um, I'm just gonna dump whatever they came in into it, because I'm not worried about killing other fish in here or destroying any bio whatever that's set up so we're just gonna throw them right in. Okay, so this is the guppy grass. It's just a bunch of grass. <laughs> so we're just gonna kind of spread it open and we're going to end up just tossing it in the tank. So the main reason I wanted to get snails, at least try and get them to start breeding and possibly creating a colony in here, is so that if we do and when we get puffer fish of any kind, they might uh, have something to snack on, apart from whatever we end up feeding them. So these guys are pretty cool. I've never had ram's horn snails. We, it looks like we got a bunch of different color variations. We got red ones, we got bluish gray ones, we got brown ones, we got a bunch of different ones. Also a bunch of different sizes also, so that's kind of cool. So we'll definitely keep you updated on what goes on with these guys. Looks like we got a couple that are riding on each other. I'm not sure what that means, but we will see. So let me know what you guys think uh, as far as putting that lily in the pond. Was that a good idea, a bad idea? Why? Um, if you guys think it's gonna survive at all with uh, the red-eared slider in there, kind of just tearing it apart already. All right, everybody, well, thank you for sticking it through another video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. Um, Nomo tank, like we saw, is looking pretty awesome. All the fish are still happy. It's been, what, a couple months now? Not bad. We're going to do another update video on that and give you exact numbers as far as water parameters. Don't forget to subscribe, like, turn on that notification bell, and I'll see you next video.